the linked parishes of Ardgour, Strontian and Morvern would cover an area of um, just under 500 square miles, I believe. Um, I, I still, when I see the weather map or whatever, I see dots of where my former parishes were and uh, a clearly visible area of Scotland uh, where I'm now uh, privileged to, to be the minister. I, I moved up here uh, two years ago from the Central Belt and looking back on it realised that uh, it, it was a, a risky thing to do uh, to bring the, the family uh, up here to the beautiful uh, area. Uh, we've had the best of the weather this summer. Um, there's a sense in which people are people wherever they are and, and ministry in many ways is is very similar to how it would be uh, anywhere it is different the numbers the population is is smaller i think there's there's a wonderful sense of community here um and and the church certainly has been able to to, to play to that um we've had um we had a quiz night for Christian Aid last autumn and we had 80 people in Strontian Village Hall and there were many, many towns around the country uh, would have been very envious of a, a, a response like that. So I think folk do respond. Although numbers are low, the, the effectiveness of what we're doing um, you know, is, is measured in different ways and I would certainly want to encourage anyone in whatever situation not to say oh well we don't have the, the children or the, there aren't young families uh, around but there are different ways of, of exploring uh, being church that that can connect with with people um, nowadays. I've lived in a rural area now for 16 years and I'm very aware of the differences in a rural community to, to a town community and I think with a three-way linkage that we have here I think one of the important things is that you respect that each community is extremely different they have their own their own ways and that's very important that you acknowledge that um, it's a different pace of life I think I would say and it's something that it's important to remember. It's a much slower, slower pace of life in, in the rural area. People I find re react differently to you. There's different ways of approaching people in rural areas that are very, very close-knit community um, and, and that's lovely. It's lovely to be accepted in and to be part of that. Um, but it's a community, a three-way linkage, it's a community that everybody tends to work together, to play together, to live together and therefore all the experiences that sometimes you wouldn't experience in, in a town setting you tend to get sort of more full on in these in these kind of areas and confidentiality is always I think always an important thing in ministry anyway but certainly in a rural area it's a vitally important thing that um, you maintain confidentiality both for yourself and for all the parishioners as well and in that way you know a two-way respect build, builds up and it's just such a lovely lovely atmosphere to work in. Uh, and I think for me one of the things that has been we worship success here has been the perseverance and not saying well actually last month there wasn't anyone <laughs> and it did happen once <laughs> and I wondered about um, was it the time to, to let that go and to, to, to focus on, on some of the other things that we were doing uh, and then the following uh, week was one of the ones where there were 10 or, or, or 12 um, and I think now having having journeyed through that um, we've got a, a good a good number which may well change uh, obviously you know these preschool children grow up mm -hmm. and within the small community uh, that the numbers are going to be lower over the next couple of years but it opens up the connections for, for other things that we're doing for messy church for, for other intergenerational activities <laughs>